All right, y'all. So I just got home, and she sent the text, Penny. That's my trainer to be ready at 8:45. Then you know, dispatch, dispatch. Okay, I'm saying it right with a P. Dispatch switched it. So I told you the process was quick. Orientation was supposed to be three days, but it was two days. It was fun, and now I'm already going out with my trainer. Well, four days, and after those four days. I'll be in my own truck, y'all. You. Doo, doo. What's going on, YouTube? We got your favorite female trucker. Trucking with Kayla. So today is training day. It's um, June 22nd. I, like I said before, in my orientation video, orientation supposed to be three days. But I only did it for two. I got there on the 20th. Did the 21st, then my trainer texted me that same night saying to be ready. Like, no introduction, nothing. Be ready. Be at the terminal. So I'm training. I got, they gave us a duffel bag. They call them tours. So they said we would do two tours would take four days. So I'm so happy it's not a long week, but I packed up three, three outfits. I, I can't speak for every trucker, but I shower every other day. And I know training days sometimes, trainers sometimes don't even, you know, it's every other day too. We ain't about to be around this thing shining every day, but some trainers do. I don't know, but I packed on. I go off of my routine. I shower every other day because I don't even have that many free showers. But I packed three outfits, gloves, and that's it. Like you said, it's training. They should provide everything. And, you know, you don't want to clutter their truck. Then I bought my rain jacket and a disconnect and turned into a regular little uh, throw on jacket then my memory phone. So I'm about to head over there I will try to keep y'all as formed. I don't know how she feel about vlogging compared to my other trainer But y'all know I'm gonna try to give y'all Give y'all get y'all the 411 Okay, y'all well, I got here. I just got done putting my memory phone Back in my car. She said that we stay in hotels. Well, she stay in her truck She have a single bed and I'm going to hotels and she said the last train trainee she had, they stayed in a very nice hotel. Like, I'm not picky. I just want something that don't look bad, but roast infested. Just give me somewhere decent to lay my head. But I think that's pretty cool. And so far, her name is Miss Penny. She already, like the lady said, she matched people up with our personalities. And the lady took as I was a sweet, sweet young, young lady, which I am. And this lady, she is an old, sweet sweet older lady so everything is going good so far y'all thumbs up all right y'all so we're taking a bathroom break it's pretty sweet because you know with trainers you dry the whole time oh that actually like the truck it's all right all right right here but but she's been doing all the driving it's literally it felt like you just ride with your grandma she the sweetest lady ever like i said i could drive she's like Oh no, you're fine. Just relax. I already know, you know how to drive. So she said, like, when we get closer, you know, she'll let me drive. But she been buying me cookies and super nice. Like, she just it just, it just remind me of a grandma. Like she just it's just grandma love. So I'm enjoying it so far. All right, y'all. So I'm about to start driving. Say we get there at 8:58. It's six. She drove the whole time. So only we only got three more hours till we get there, but I'm finally about to do some driving. All right, y'all. So we made it to the end of the night. Fuck on my man. One, two, three. Ooh, hold on, y'all. Y'all know. Bathroom, everything good. Bed, TV, everything good. So day one is complete. I ain't gonna go much over it cause I don't get to record what I'm doing. So it's basically just gonna be a talking video. So I'm gonna keep it short. First day was good. I could see myself doing it. It's literally, Dropping hooks. And I get where it's like, when people say you have to, it's like a rush. 
Because they was calling when we was late. Where you guys at? But we was in traffic. But it was just like, you know, get there as soon as possible. But we finally called back up. But it is literally boom, 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 boom. It ain't no time to be horsing around, playing around. I see why they have a no dog policy or no passenger policy. Like, it's literally strict. But I like it. The first day was good. We did four stops. And we had to drive to North Carolina. So I'm in North Carolina right now. But besides that, it was good. I see myself doing it. Like I don't I don't mind working. So it is what it is. But good day. I'm about to take a shower. And I will see y'all in the morning for day two of training. Alright, so I just got off the shower. Don't mind my bonnet. But I did want to say that she's off on Saturdays. So we in North Carolina after today. I mean tomorrow we will be heading back. She said we should get there Friday around 10. Same time, we got shut down 10, 11. Then we'll be off Saturday. Then I go back out Sunday, Monday. So it won't be straight. So it's only two days. I'm off for a day. Then we come back two days. So good night. Day two. All right, what's going on, y'all? So I stopped at day two because I realized it was very repetitive and... Well, I didn't ask her if I could vlog, but I, for people that's on the Amazon cow or did it, it's dropping hooks and everything is on time. Like it's, it's a, it's a fast pace. So I didn't have time to pull out my camera, put it together, record. Like when I do my own tour, they call them, instead of loads, they call them tours. So when I do my own tour, my first tour, y'all know I'm going to take y'all along with me. But, uh, training was good. I did have a situation, um on the third day so it was day one day two she off saturday so it's that thursday friday i came home saturday then sunday monday so i just finished today's tuesday so i just finished um tuesday as y'all can see we don't sleep in a truck with our trainer tuesday it was about one o'clock uh they scheduled me a hotel but it was for monday to tuesday instead of sunday to monday they couldn't get it figured out and it was just one of those i guess because i was agitated she kept calling and i answering the phone i kept calling and answering the phone i'm not trying to be inconsiderate but that was just you know kind of frustrated it's one o'clock in the morning and y'all know that account that we own like you need your sleep like i get the truckers that i talk to the people that coming on my post let me know like oh you gonna work it ain't like working but it's just it's just work i don't know i guess a lot of people just of course that's the American dream to work, get paid to work less, but I don't mind putting a little extra work. Like, yeah, we do about five to six stops a day. Depends on your schedule, but yeah, you just drop it, hook it and go. Like, there's no complaints to me. Like I actually love the account, but blah, 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 back to the story. So it's one, I'm tired. Uh, I woke up early cause we were supposed to leave at nine, but it got switched to one. So, and I'm one of those, uh, people, once I'm up, I'm up. So I, I was just up, just waiting to, you know, get to work. But they didn't answer. Then when they did answer, they talking about, well, we don't know what to do. How don't y'all know what y'all do? Y'all the draft managers. Like, y'all need to cancel it and reschedule it or send me to another hotel. So after an hour waiting now, the dude in the lobby like, well, if they don't book, you need to be leaving in a second. Like, just looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, you see me trying to figure it out. He trying to kick me out because I'm literally just sitting there doing anything. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. But I have been sitting there for hours. So, you know, people do their business the way they do their business. So, they call back like, well, can you pay and reimburse me? I said, nah. Like, nah. Like, because y'all could figure it out. Like, I don't, and I'm not... And I hate the reimbursement thing because reimbursement come on your checks and taxes come out your checks. So I'm not getting the full amount that I paid for it. So I'm just like, I was like, no, I don't have my wallet on me. So I did kind of feel bad of doing that because my trainer had to pay for it. And I told you she's an older lady. So she's so sweet. Like she, when she, they call her and she was like, well, I'll pay for it. You guys can reimburse me. But at the moment, I'm just like, I don't care. Like, I'm, no, I'm not paying out of my pocket. Y'all hired me. I get it. It's a part of trucking, but it was already one. So I was irritated. I was tired. Like, no, I'm not paying for anything. Figure it out or send me to another hotel. So that took two hours. So I got checked into my room about 310. Then the hotel, terrible. What's that TikTok? Hmm. On BD. Hmm. Extra thumbs down. Hotel, terrible. Tub, filthy. I didn't even... 
I didn't even take a shower. I didn't want to take a shower. I was better off just sending my clothes. So did take a shower. Room was filthy. When you walked in a hallway, like it just gave like scary movie vibes. So when I first got in the room, I was just agitated. So, you know, I just sat there for a second. I meditated. I did my prayer. Like, so, you know, I just named off all the things that I'm grateful for. When I feel like I'm being ungrateful or things ain't going my way, I always tell myself things could be worse. It's literally people out here dying of starvation or in jail that don't need to be in jail, like innocent. And I'm over here crying about a room that a homeless person would love to have. So I had to, you know, redirect myself. But then I couldn't sleep. Like I was uncomfortable. Like I didn't feel safe there. So and instead of complaining, I'm not a complainer. I'm I hate it. I'm a retired people person, but I came out of retirement because I'm like, I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not going to complain. I just need to get a few hours of sleep, get on this truck, then we'll be back home. But I went to sleep about like five. I couldn't sleep. I was uncomfortable, but eventually I went to sleep. Then we had to get up by 11. Like, it was just tough. Like, like you said, I didn't like that experience. Like, drive managers don't know what they're doing. Like, how don't you know what you're doing? I just felt like they didn't put a sense of urgency, but hey, they probably didn't if they didn't. I was just telling my trainer, like, thank you for looking out for me. But I told her, I, I like, it's okay. Like, cause she, she's an old lady. So she's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. They're normally not like this. And I'm like, hey, it's fine. From all the trucking videos I've seen, all the truckers I know now, they they always say welcome to trucking it's a part of trucking and watching youtube before i even became a youtuber i literally drilled that into my head anything possible with these company and these companies don't owe you anything people will do you dirty and i hate that because i'm a good person so i'll be like dad how don't you take care of your own workers but these companies don't care so i had that stuck in my i got that drilled in my head so i don't put none past these companies or right, be shocked but besides that y'all Everything with training was good. The account is amazing. The only thing that people disliked or even the lady at orientation said is, you know, people, some people can't, you know, work with the fast pace. You do about six stops a day. You get $17 to stop. Even when your stop get canceled, you got to go somewhere else. You still get paid for those stops. Everything is Amazon warehouse. And so if I do go to New York, New Jersey, wherever bigger places are, places people don't want to go it's all at a dock every place we went into the dock was big like the yeah dock facility dock is what you back into whatever but the, the the facility was big we didn't go to one and she said they're all pretty much like that amazon got money and we all know and when you check in you don't gotta go into a a, a guard guard shack or whatever sometimes they got guard shacks or whatever but everything is technology you pull you pull all the way up the back reads your seal the front leaves your license plate sometimes you don't even have to talk to a person but if you do talk to a person it's technology it's a camera and you always give the last four of your load it's very easy it's always like a just say you pull up and they be like hey how you doing last four xqpw they pull you up they already know where you're going so they they give you your parking spot where you drop in the trailer and your dock number where you're picking up the load. And if you don't remember or don't write it down, everything is on the app. There's two apps. The Amazon app, you do everything on there. Like you literally don't even have to talk to a person because the computer do everything for you. It's all on the app. They always on time. Like it was a couple of times we had to wait, but chill out. I know how to chill. Go take a nap, play on your phone. Like, cause sometimes you do need that break and JB Hunt do have cameras. So, you know, like be on your phone a little bit as you wait, what else? The tandems, you don't have to slide the tandems. That's one thing I hated about the reefer. Well, that's in truck and sliding them back and forth. And I actually just learned from my comments when posting the video that since I had the air tandems, I'm not for sure, but I didn't have to hit them. All I had to do was rock it back and forth. Never knew that. But now you don't have to slide the tandems. The tandems are always up, always. It's always up because the load's not that heavy. Our lightest load was like a thousand pounds and our heaviest load was 10,000. Like she said, the loads were gonna be heavy. Like it'd be one fourth of the trailer, some loads before we close the door. What else? Like the every place you go, like I said, every place you go is big. So you ain't got to worry about tight turns, nothing. Like it's literally perfect. Some of the uh, the areas are smaller than some of the other ones are huge, but it's one of those, you if you have trouble backing, you will be able to get it in. It's not always packed. Like when you check in and you sit for like five, 10 minutes, the app, I'm kid you not, it'd be like, is something wrong or hurry up? Like, you know, 
because they want you in and they want you out. So I love it. The technology at night, I had to write, fill out stuff on my paperwork, take a picture, submit it. Everything is through the Amazon app. JB Hunt, all you do is I arrived, I arrived, then do a checklist. So everything is technology. You you don't have to worry about it being at a small area or anything. All the all Amazon docs that I've been through and that she's been through tell me, you're, you're going to be good. That's the thing. Like if you go to New York, at least it's at a dock and I ain't off the street or you pull them back into anything. The tandems, you don't have to worry about sliding. The tandems, tandem getting stuck. Definitely in the winter time. I haven't drove in the winter. And light loads. I mean, that's a hassle because I was doing reefer. So some of my loads is like 50, 60, 70,000. You know, they say it's easier to drive better loaded. But, you know, everybody's opinion is different. And it's good money. So... It ain't no complaints for me, but after this video, you know, I will post the account because some people like to visually see it, but it's no complaints to me. Like, I enjoyed the training. Miss Penny was amazing, and I enjoyed the account. I felt like I'm going to like it. Like, the only thing I wanted was more money, and I don't mind driving. The thing about Amazon, they said they got JB Hunt. They got different accounts, so that's it, though. This already been going on for 10 minutes, but... Hit that like button, hit that comment button, hit that subscribe button. I'm officially with JB Hunt. If y'all got any questions, drop it below. If you know anybody that with JB Hunt, drop it below. If y'all know anybody that's on the Amazon account that had complaints, drop it below. But I feel like I'm going to love it. But y'all know I'm going to keep y'all updated if my attitude changed towards it. Trucking with Kayla is out. Peace.